Hi guys, Sid Angelo here, and uh, today I'm trying to bring out a horse from inside this piece of wood. So, as far as my inspiration goes, the horse lives inside the wood, and I just need to break it free. So you can all see what I envisioned inside the timber in my head all along. As you can see, I always start my sculptures with a chainsaw. So I can use the destructiveness of the chainsaw to let free what is imprisoned inside the wood. I hope you know a pack a chainsaw! After carving out the, the outlines of the sculpture, I go into much detail with chisel and hammer. I always pay a lot of attention to mouth, nose and eyes to get them all in a symmetry that is perfect or as close as perfect as I am comfortable with. In wood, I prefer to use uh, water-based acrylic paint that uh, with a little bit of water, you can go around with many, many brush strokes in one single load. For the glossiness of eyes, mouth, and uh, in this case, nostrils, I used thinner based acrylic resin. That gives me that wet, glossy look that I'm looking for. We all know eyes can make your sculpture glorious or doomed. So pay as much attention to the eye as you possibly can. Always try to position the eyes onto the omnidirection positions, uh, whatever the hell that means. Just draw onto your sculpture, get up, walk around it. Make sure your sculpture is looking at you wherever you go. Once you have mastered your eye tracking skills, I can guarantee you, you're always gonna get that wow look on your clients' faces. Always, I promise. <laughs>